welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you a hair tutorial showing you how to do a rope braid for beginners okay so today I'm going to be demonstrating on a mannequin head this is a mannequin head that I had back when I was still in cosmetology school and of course it's been chopped all up and because <laughs> we practice so many different styles so for the purposes of this video I took the liberty to sew in some dark hair to contrast with the mannequin's original hair so that the braid will show better and that I will have more to work with because this is literally how long the hair is on the mannequin now and that's not much to work with so as you can see the hair is very long I'm going to say about 18 inches in all so let's get started uh, first you know the key to any good um, hairstyle is starting out with clean hair shampoo conditioned hair um, and afterwards you can either choose to let it air dry or either you can blow dry it or if you have one of those at home dryers that you can sit up under for a few minutes you know your personal preference so this hair has already been prepped it's been shampooed it's been conditioned and conditioned and it has been flat ironed okay so we'll get straight to it so first we're going to comb the hair neatly straight back and you can choose any comb that you like your personal preference it can be a rat tail comb it can be a comb like this for smoothing because see how small the teeth are you'll be using this to smooth but if the hair needs to be detangled first then you're going to get you a detangle comb or a detangle brush. Today I have a detangling comb. And of course to detangle you're going to always start from the ends and work your way up. And just to demonstrate, you're going to hold. Because if you don't hold and just start like that, you're going to cause breakage. Okay? So you're going to hold it and you're going to detangle. But this hair has already been pre-detangled. And you just start from the bottom and you work your way up. Okay. And then I'm going to use the smaller comb for smoothing. Nothing fancy. You just want to comb all the hair straight back no need to restrain it at this time you just want to give it a general starting shape okay so now for the rope braid you're going to be twisting two strands, two strands of hair. Okay, so basically, you're going to start from the front because we're going to do a, a low rope braid. So you're going to start from the front. If it makes it easier for you, you can split the hair down the center. I have some butterfly clips. And then I have the duck bill clips, you know, whatever your preference. And products that you may need for this particular style would just in general be styling gel or a pomade or edge control or a combination of all three, <laughs> depending on how tight that curl pattern is, okay? So this hair is obviously, you know, chemically treated. Chem Lord, chemically treated. <laughs> so it's already pretty straight, and of course, I already flat ironed it. So the most I would need is maybe a little spritz towards the ends. All right, so you're gonna take some hair, starting from the front, and pull it back. And that's your first 
strand. Okay. Okay. And you want the hair to be as neat as possible. And if you have like some little fallaways, don't worry about that. You can always clean that up and make it neater towards the end of the braid. So now we're going to gather the hair from the left side. And we're meeting so by still holding this. You're going to use your two fingers here to hold the hair from the opposite side. If this is difficult for you, that's why you have the, the clips. You can use those to assist you. Maybe once you pull the first strand, you can take a clip and hold it there like so. And then while you pull the hair from the opposite side, gather it. Make sure it's neat. Now you can go back and get that first piece. Okay, so now you have your two strands. This is optional. I have some spritz. You can go ahead and spray spritz one for each strand. That's for those flyaways to kind of help keep it gathered. Okay, and you're going to do one crossover. You see that? like an X. Now, that's one crossover and then you're going to cross it over one more time. And now you have the makings of a twist. Okay? While you're holding those two strands. You're going to be pulling your strands from left to right. So now I'm going to pull some hair from the left and I'm going to go underneath that top strand and I'm going to add it to the strand that is underneath like so and you're gonna give it a twist one two now while holding it between your two fingers here you're gonna gather some hair from the right side Don't worry about any flyaways. We're going to take care of that at the end. Now you're going to take this hair from the right and you're going to add it to that top strand. And you're going to give it a twist. One and a two. And you're going to follow this procedure all the way until you finish the braid. So once again, you're gonna take a section from that left, from the left side, and you're gonna go underneath that top strand and meet it to the lower strand. Once you add them together, you're gonna give them a twist. One, two. Now, you're going to twist both strands once. Now, you're going to pull from the left any remaining strands. As you go down, you know, the mannequin heads are much shorter <laughs> than the actual human head. So, you'll be finished a lot faster if you're practicing on a mannequin head. Okay. So, you're going to take hair from the left oh wait a minute <laughs> let's not forget the right 
take some hair from the right and add it over that top strand. Give it a twist. So as you can see, we have pretty much gathered all of the hair except for a few flyaways. Like I say, don't worry about those. Go ahead and finish the braid by just twisting those two strands down. Just continue all the way to the end. And you want to be firm. You want a firm twist. The reason why you want a firm twist is because once you release it and let it go, it's going to slightly loosen. So if you did it very loose from the beginning, it's going to be very loose once you let it, let it go. And this style is meant to be carefree. This is a hairstyle you wear to work. You go to school. Once you get used to doing it, it'll take you less than five minutes. So I'm twisting all the way down to the end there. And then you're going to take an elastic band. And you're just going to put it on the end. And so when I let it go, because I did a firm twist, you can still see the shape of the twist. So now, let's address the flyaways. So this hair was two layers. You had a short layer in the top and long layer in the back. This hairstyle is best for one length hair or long layers only. This braid will not work for bob length hair unless you have extensions. Okay? So now we're going to go back and we're going to spray spritz on those flyaways that's in the very back of the braid. And remember, don't hold it too close. Kind of hold it maybe about five to six inches out. Give it a spray. And you're going to go with your small tooth end of the comb and just smooth it out. Or you can also just do this with your hands. But I'm going to use my comb. But if you're doing this on yourself, it'll be easier with your hands. Just spritz it and you can just pat it down. Okay. And when you're tucking away the flyaways, remember to go in the direction of the twist. So that way you don't undo the pretty work that you just done. Okay. A little bit more. So now those flyaways we want to address that may be on the bottom or on the sides. If you have a flat iron or a curling iron, just give them a curl. Nothing fancy. And if you are in a hurry, and didn't have time to curl it? Don't. Get a hairpin. And it could be just spritzed and tucked back into the style. But I think curls give it a pretty elegant look. If you want a quick hairstyle for Say you're going to a graduation or a wedding. This is one of those little go-to hairstyles that you'll be digging for. Let's see. And you know, it's carefree. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just 
didn't have to be perfect at all. And say so you had flowers on one side and not the other, well, just go ahead and just pinch a little piece, a little strand from the side and curl that one. This is carefree. Nothing fancy. Just a quick curl to give it some body, to give it some life. just to where you can see it here <laughs> and there you go a very simple go-to everyday casual style that would take less than five minutes once you get used to the over under over under just remember that two strands over under twist over under twist over under twist until you're done and let's see can you get a good i have the fan blowing in the background <laughs> yeah and it's just very simple nothing fancy okay so if you enjoy this tutorial hit that like button and while you're at it hit that subscribe button thank you Mwah.